Okay, what's up? This is my first time doing a, well, I'm not live, but do, first time doing a video. I'm just gonna put some makeup on and that's that. And tell you some tricks that I do because some people ask about what I do, so here's what I do. Um, I already moisturized my face with Unique's moisturizer. Pretty good stuff, not gonna lie. And so usually I first start with eyeshadow. And I'm using Put a Lid on It by The Balm Primer. So we'll start with that. And then I like to, where is it? Anyways, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay concealer to go over this primer because I just feel like it makes the eyeshadow stick a little better. <clears throat> Blend it out with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Don't get any other beauty blender except for this one, please. It's good. And then for the best trick ever, tape. If you don't use tape when putting on eyeshadow, start using it now, please. And always make sure it's kind of past your eyebrow a teeny bit, because if you do it like up in here, it just looks bad. Take my advice, please. Yeah. Usually I used a couple different palettes. The Too Faced Natural Love Palette. It's life. It's life. Look at all those. <sighs> love it. Okay. Always start with transition colors because if you just go on, if you just go in with a dark color, you're just destined for a disaster. So start out with, I'm going to use the Lace Teddy, the orange one, and then I think I'll use Spotlight, and then Honey Butter, why not? I'm going for like a pink look today because I'm going to be wearing pink later on. And just kind of blend. I have hooded eyes, so I kind of look up and then blend because that way I can like make my own crease because I don't really have a crease because my eyes suck. But I make it work. And this palette's 60 bucks. Not too bad. It'll last you forever. Okay, and then Spotlight. It's kind of a mustardy color, but not the color my eyes are gonna be, but. Honey butter, kind of like a light brown. I was gonna go live with this video, but who's gonna wanna watch me blend the shit out of my eyebrow or out of my eyeshadow for like five minutes? So, editing is better when it comes to makeup. Sorry, not sorry. I'll do I'll do this color makeup and chill why not and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go like this just kind of pat it on never like blend at first because then all that eyeshadow will just disappear but I like to pat it on This is always my good eye. My good eye side is always a task. After you pat it on, you can blend a teeny bit, but I blend later. But there's no rules in makeup. That's the fun of it. 
Okay. There we go. I'm gonna use this color. Oh, I love the name. Okay. This color. It's kittens. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I'm not going to use a brush. So I'm going to be using glitter primer. If you have a glitter eyeshadow, always use glitter primer. Life, life, life. It'll have so much more pigment to your look. It's not even funny. And I try to just put it like near the inner corner. I like to leave the middle kind of with no glitter primer because then it just looks like you didn't blend all day and that's embarrassing. To avoid creasing, I kind of blend down when I'm done. Because who wants creased eyes? That's the only bad thing about this glue. It kind of causes creasing, but just blend down and then you should be fine. Okay, and then I don't use a brush when it comes to this part of the eyeshadow because I don't get very much on my brush when it comes to putting it on, so I just use my ring finger. And then I'll swirl my finger around in that and then put it on like so. Okay, I just used the wrong color. Oh, whatever. Anyways, I'm using bunny nose. Bunny nose. I'm using this one. It'll still work. And after that is when I blend. I blend after I'm done with everything. I don't really do much to my eyes. I'm not that much of a artist. But I do what I think looks good on me. Always blend. If you don't blend, start blending, please. That is that. Take the tape off. Oh my god, this is the worst part because it kind of tags my skin, but I'm just gonna hold it there. But it works because your eyeshadow doesn't get everywhere. Okay. See, hello. If it looks kind of like, uh, yeah, I'll kind of just go like this. Just so it won't look so sharp. I never used to do that. Oh my gosh. Uh, you love and you learn, right? Okay. So, we're done with that for now. And next is the face. I'm gonna be using this. This is life. If you don't have it already, I suggest you get it. It's called... Why am I even reading it? I know what it's called. It's called CC Cream by It Cosmetics. This is the shade Fair because I'm wide as fuck. And then the primer I'm using... I guess I'll use this. The Porefessional. If you guys have oily skin... Life. I'm just gonna... Put it in your T-zone. Because that's... Like it's oily. Let it dry for a teeny bit. Oh, I also, under my eyes for moisturizer, I used, and this is life if you have dark circles because uh, I have dark circles, obviously. Um, it's Potent by Benefit. Yep, life. Been using it for like two years. Won't go to anything else because this thing is amazing. And I'll be using, none of my brushes are really clean, I haven't cleaned them in about three days, oh well, whatever. If you don't have It Cosmetics brushes, I suggest you get them today, because they're life changing. Anyway, so I use one pump for one side of the face and then one pump for the other. It only takes two pumps, and the coverage is great. 
And it's not your typical foundation. It has like collagen and stuff. Stuff for your skin. Good stuff. And always get below and kind of on the ear. You don't want a line. <laughs> circles are still there okay this is bye bye under eye corrector and it's in the shade light it lasts forever I've had this for like over a year and you just put it under your eyes before you put concealer on and then it gets rid of them dark circles After that, I set the CC cream with a powder and, of course, it cosmetics. Celebration foundation, hello. With, of course, another it cosmetics brush. Life. They're kind of pricey, but they're worth it. It'll last you forever. And just kind of set it. They'll last you forever if you clean them, you know correctly like I usually clean my brushes like every every three days <laughs> that's bad but you should do it like at least every every other day I guess sometimes <laughs> it's just hard to get around that but if you want a good brush cleaner I recommend and again it's at cosmetics because I love it the brush bath you just literally spray it on your brush get a tissue and like wipe your brush you don't have to wait for it to dry or anything. It's amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna switch the brands up a little bit. For concealer, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair. Because again, I'm white as fuck. But this is life. Like this, and you don't even need very much, but I kind of put, eh, kind of put a lot every time, even though I tell myself I'm not gonna do it. But whatever. Some things you live and you don't learn. <laughs> Okay. I guess iPads only do 20 minute videos. Oh my god. And this is where the flawless comes in. It cosmetics, once again. Bye bye pores. Pressed. Don't get the loose. Get the pressed. I'm almost out because this thing is life. Um, it's just amazing because it just it minimizes your pores. So this is what I use to set my concealer and my whole face pretty much after using the other powder. I'm weird. Again, there's no rules in makeup. Just saying. See, like, look at this side compared to that side. Oh my god. It just closes your pores. Okay, what's next? Oh, the eyebrows. The eyebrows are the most tedious because one of my eyebrows is higher than the other. This eyebrow is higher than this one, so I always have my bangs side swept because it's just... Eh. Anyways. Oh, sorry. So, this is the Benefit brush. It's got this little end, you know, and then this little guy to brush your eyebrows. And then I'm going to be going in with the A Cosmetics Brow Power. Cosmetics, once again. Like, I'm telling you, best makeup on the planet. And then, to give it like a natural look, I'm going to try my best on this. Oh my gosh, okay. Give it a natural look, I'm going to be using this. It's Cabral by, the ben by Benefit. It's like a, a, you know. Okay. Anyways, I start out, I brush my eyebrows up, because if you don't, it's just going to be a mess. 
So up. Okay. So I start from the bottom. Now we here. Okay, sorry. I start from the bottom. And kinda lightly. Cause you want the front to be light. And then kind of find because your arc should always be like right there. So like right there. But towards the end you always want it to be a little darker because that's just how it should be. It should be darker on here and then like lighter as you go forward. So it'll be natural. Okay, let's put that away for a second and then we're gonna be going in with this for the front because we aren't leaving it like that. Mm -mm. I just dab it in there like so. Not hard, very light. Well, it goes a long way. And then I just go like this. Stop from the front and just do very light strokes. Light strokes. You don't want it dark or else it'll just look ratchet. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, like so. There we go. Oh, sorry. And then brush. Brush through lightly. Sometimes I go, I brush a little hard because it's a little dark and you don't want to have your eyebrows dark unless you have dark hair. But again, I'm blonde and my skin is pasty white. So I don't need dark eyebrows. Anywho, that's that. If you mess up, concealer is always a nice thing. Concealer is... I usually don't mess up too bad on this eyebrow, but the other eyebrow is a different story. Because it's my eyebrow. Oh. Always. Always. Set your eyebrows. I use the... Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's life. If you don't have it now, get it. It's worth it. You just lightly put them puppies in the place. There we go. Okay. Next is bronzer. I guess I'll use Too Faced. I use this brush. I don't, I'm not a big bronzer. I'm not all contour nonsense. So I just use this. Try to carve out the hollow in my cheeks. Make you look a little thinner in the face. Then I kind of just go right here because my concealer, you know, gets my, I don't know, my concealer looks funny right there like when I, when I blended it up. So I kind of just use the remainder of it just to go around the face. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Don't use very much. Very light. Okay, I'll keep it simple. This is from Dirty Little Secret. I love that brand. Um, I got it in an Ipsy offer. If you follow me on Snapchat, you already know I'm all about those Ipsy offers. But yeah, Dirty Little Secret. It's called Kitty Pink. Oh my gosh, I love it. I didn't even know that until just now. And then... Just smile and apply. Good, done and done. And then I use this $2 brush from e.l.f. just to blend it, just to blend it together. You don't wanna look, yeah, I'm not even gonna say it. This highlight is life. It's the Jeffree Star and Manny collab. It's called Eclipse. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't stop showing you guys. Okay, and it's huge. It's gonna last me forever. So, I'm gonna do like a little trick. Put coconut oil right here, and then put the highlight over it, and you'll get like a Shazam highlight. 
But if you don't want a Shazam highlight, just use the highlight with Illustrator Brush and Pen. Done. Little brush like this for your highlight. Nothing fancy. You can use the fan brush too, this little guy, if you want like a subtle highlight. But I like that shit to glow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. I love it. Okay. Just a little on the nose, just to give it a nice look. Okay. That's enough. And then, so I'm done with my face. So I don't bake. I tried it once, it dries my skin out, don't like it. Not for me. So I'm gonna use the NYX finishing powder and I'm gonna take my beauty blender and use this end, put it in there, get some powder on it, and I'm just gonna go like this just to kind of clean up a little bit. Okay, we'll do this one. It's primer water. You can use it for primer, um, but I like to use it as a finishing spray. It makes everything just glow and shazam. So just spray it on your face. Okay, one too many. Hello. Okay. It just brightens it up. Hell yeah. Ooh. I forgot. Usually, oof, before I spray my face, I usually put eyeshadow underneath my eye just so it won't look so. So let me do that really quick. We will do makeup and chill again. There we go. Much, much better. Perfect. Oh, and then. I always save this until after I do my eyebrows. But since I'm filming, you know, I'm all off my groove. So we're gonna use nice. the shade's called Heaven. This whole palette should be called Heaven, just saying. And then I just kind of put it over just as kind of like a highlight with a non-shimmer. You can do shimmer if you want, but I figure since the pink is already shimmery, you don't want too much shimmer. That's just too much. Okay, next. Okay. Um, usually on the weekend, I like to wear falsies. Not today. That just takes too much of my time. But second best thing to falsies is the unique 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. So, eyeliner before mascara. Tarte. Lash liner. If you want a good eyeliner for your waterline, this is where it's at. It doesn't, it doesn't fade throughout the day. Shazam, that just does so much better to the face. Curl, curl the lashes. And don't curl, go like this. Do what you want, but this is what I do. Pulse, go. Dun, 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 dun. Always pulse, because if you do it really hard, it's just not gonna do any good. I usually pulse about four times. There we go, okay. So the gel comes first and then the fibers. Fibers make your lashes longer. It's pretty good stuff. You know, I was just thinking if you, I was thinking of my setting sprays. Um, 
the one I used was super good. I love it. But if you have like really oily skin, the Urban Decay D Slick is amazing. And then if you have like dry skin, the Hydration Spray from Jane Iredale. This makeup line is life as well. Like cosmetics and Jane Iredale are like my top two makeup lines that I love. So I put lipstick on without filming. That's easy peasy. Um, but anyways, I use Too Faced Matte Lip Insurance. The best. To keep a look all day. And then Too Faced Liquid, well sorry, Melted Matte in the shade Child Star. So yeah, this video going on Facebook today. Friends and family, give it a like, give it a love. Haters, give it a like, give it a love. Have a good day.